So let's analyze this decomposition of mercury 2 oxide. The balance equation is given to you guys on the board. So let's say we did this reaction in lab, um, even though we would never do it because mercury is too dangerous for you guys to be working with, but um, as undergraduates, that is. Um, let's say we got out of this reaction 50.72 milligrams of mercury. Okay? We should be able to figure out the mass of oxygen that was also produced in this reaction. Okay, that's what we're looking to figure out. Okay, what was the mass of oxygen produced? Okay, so I'm going. We're all we're going to go through the steps of this, and you guys are going to tell me: Does this make sense? Doesn't this make sense? Okay, so first thing we're going to have to do is convert this from grams to moles, right? Why? Because we eventually are going to compare the moles of this to the moles of this, right? And that's mole-mole conversion comes from the chemical reaction. Is everybody clear with that? Okay. Two people are clear. Is everybody else clear? Okay, good. So, if I need grams, what's the first thing I need to do? Divide by a thousand. Well, to convert milligrams to grams, yeah. right? And in order to do that, we're going to do baby thing, baby steps. Not just divide by a thousand, but we're going to show the whole conversion, right? Yeah. So, on the bottom is going to be milligrams, of course, and just like he said, there's going to be a thousand of them. And on the top, what? <laughs> One gram. One gram, right? Okay. And we can say, if we wanted to, mercury, mercury. Okay. So, I'm going to do this all at once, actually, but I just want to make sure everybody's okay with every step. So in this step, now my units are, should be what? Grams yes. of mercury, right? Is everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. So now I want to figure out what? The number of moles. moles of mercury, right? So how do I do that? Yeah, or the atomic weight, right? Or the molar mass, whatever you want to say. In fact, the molar mass is directly what you want to find, okay? So how will we find the molar mass of mercury? Periodic table, right? We look up there, it says what? 200.59, right? So what am I going to put at the bottom, or what am I going to put at the top up here? One mole. And let's just keep it at, keep saying the mercury thing, okay? And on the bottom here, 200.59, right? Um, grams of mercury. Everybody cool with that? Okay. Cancel. Cancel. So what are our units now? Moles of mercury, right? But we wanted mass of oxygen, right? So now what do we have to do? Use the chemical formula, right? to convert from moles of mercury to moles of oxygen, right? And where do we get that conversion? Somebody said it before, the coefficients, right? So we have these things here called the coefficients. This one doesn't have a coefficient. What is the implied coefficient there? One, right? So what are we going to put down here? Two moles of mercury, very good. Hand up here. Oh, yeah, you guys are so awesome. Like that? Okay. So that unit now is what? Moles of oxygen. Is that what we wanted? No, we wanted the mass of oxygen, right? So how do we figure out the mass of oxygen? You got to look for the molar mass, right? The molar mass. So let's just calculate the molar mass of oxygen. So what is it going to be? So we look up there, and I'm just going to do it to 2 sig pig, 16.00 grams per mole. But I have to do what? Very good. Multiply it by 2, right? Everybody's cool with that? Why do I have to do that? Because there's two oxygen in every molecule of oxygen. Is everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. Two oxygen atoms. Okay. So when I do that, I get um, 
32.00 grams per mole. And you could say grams of oxygen per mole of oxygen. Remember, this is like the shorthand way of writing it, right? I could also write it like this, which might make a little more sense for what we're doing right here, OK? So what am I going to do? Again, multiply by a ratio. What's going to be on the bottom there? One mole, and in this case, I'm going to say O2, right? And up here? Very good. OK? Cancel, cancel. So that should give me the mass of oxygen that was also produced in this reaction. Is everybody OK with that? OK, so let's just go through it, figure out what it is. So 50.72 divided by 1,000 divided by 200.59 divided by 2 multiplied by 32. OK, so mass, well, let's put it in milligrams because it's a very small number, OK? And I didn't say whether we had to put it in grams or milligrams. So convert again, right? So one, one gram, gram, very good. 1,000 megs. Whoops. It's not. And if you wanted to say O2, of course. OK, so multiply that by 1,000. And I got, so the mass of oxygen is going to be 4.5. Oh, so it's a 4, 4.046 milligrams of O2. Okay? So does that make sense to everybody? It's just step by step by step. Okay? So that's how we, you were to do all of the problems in the pre-lab um, previously, of course, and we went over how to do those previously. Okay? So I just wanted to Make sure you guys can do it step by step by step with it. Any questions on something like that? Okay, remember the two conversion factors that we know, right? Molar mass and chemical equation. Everybody cool with that? Okay.